Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at getting user input. So again, this is section three, lecture four. So how do we get the user input? Well, use the line input operator called standard in to get input from the user. This is how we get a value from the keyboard into a Perl program. And what's really nice about this is that we can get this value from the user from their keyboard and we can save it into our one of our containers or our variables, which we looked at in our earlier lecture. Each time you use the standard input operator or line operator in a place where a scalar value is expected, Perl reads the next complete text line and uses that string as the value of standard input. So again, the standard input, it waits until you hit the return key, which gives us a new line character and it saves that complete line of text and we can save that into a variable again. So the string value of standard in or from the line input operator typically has a new line character on the end of it where it ends. So let me show you some examples now. So the first thing I like to do is start by declaring a variable because we want to save information that we can use later. So I'm going to call this variable user input, which makes sense because we want the user to enter information into our Perl program. So we, we're going to use the line operator. So we put the less than sign and the greater than sign and inside that pair in all capital letters we type STDIN and STDIN just stands for standard input from the keyboard. Now once we do that we can go down to line two and we can actually print what's inside the user underscore input container or variable to see what the user has typed. So we use our handy dandy print statement. And what we can do is just copy our user underscore input variable, paste it in to add a string to our output, followed by two new line characters. So backslash n, backslash n, that will give us two new line characters. So if we save our information and we click run, click run script. So what we see here that we know it works is that you're going to see a blinking cursor waiting for your input. So Perl is asking you to enter some information. It's going to wait until you enter some information and then hit the return key or enter key. So I'll type my name, Victor Davis, enter the enter button or when I hit the enter button look what we have it reprinted my name now why did it do this and of course we have two new lines as well so the first thing we look at is line one so for us or it waits for the user to start to enter some information from the keyboard and once we hit the enter key or the user hits the enter key it takes that line of characters or that string on that line and it stores that information inside our user underscore input. Of course we want to display what was typed by the user so we take the variable that has the value and replaces our variable with its value and after the comma we want to use two new line characters just to make it look a little bit nicer so that's all it does and replaces our variable with its value and after the comma we want to use two new line characters just to make it look a little bit nicer so that's all it does the standard input line operator it just gets 
information from the keyboard. It, it gets characters from the keyboard and we can save it and a variable for later use. So now let's do something a little bit more fancy. So if we just erase this right now, right now, and I'll put enter your name. I'll do that. So I'll copy this line of text and I'll put it on line four. And I want to read the person's name. So I'll do this and then I'll add two more double quotes. And I'll put your name is space and then after user underscore input, I'll put more to more new line characters. So backslash in backslash in save my work. I'll click run run same to make it look a little bit nicer. And I'll put again Victor Davis. And there we have it. If we look here, it says your name is Victor Davis and it created two more new lines. So that's in a nut nutshell with standard input. We just get information from the key into a variable and we can nicely print out some output. So again, if you guys have any questions, I hope you guys learned something. That's in a nut nutshell with standard input. We just get information from the key into a variable and we can nicely print out some output. So again, if you guys have any questions, I hope you guys learned something. Any questions, I hope you guys learned something.